I'm replying to Universal Studios video, Make to Australia, No Doors for Men, posted in April 2015. You know, brother, no matter how much evidence you bring to the table, you will always be fighting an uphill battle. We know you're correct. We know she's insane. We have all the love for you and want you to have your kids back. During your video, you made a couple of statements, and I'm not sure how much you've actually understood your own statements. You've once said that she's absolutely crazy, and that you know how badly crazy she is. And this is why she is scared of you. It's the same thing I had with Kim. She was terrified of me because I knew all of her weaknesses. I knew everything I could to pin her. So her first impulsive behavior is to make up tons of false allegations against me to protect her own ass. They will throw you in front of the bus. I don't believe a single allegation your ex has told against you, brother. No, I don't think any MGTOW man does. We understand how females, once they are exposed, once we know how bad that they are, will throw a man underneath the bus at any given time to get herself out of trouble. I know how you've posted tons of evidence and have videos and have pictures of the black eye and how it all doesn't seem to matter right now, how it all seems to be worthless in the eyes of the courts. You know, you're going to have to deal with that for a while and put up with that shit for a while. But there will come a time where she can no longer make up a false excuse without you instantly pushing her into a corner and saying, look, liar, liar, liar to the courts. It'll happen. For now, she has to spin her web, and you just have to kind of keep burning the web down until she can no longer spin her web, and that's when she will get caught. As for your kids, you know, hey, prayers out there for them that they're going to be fine and do okay through this. I still think it's very important that you tell both of your children exactly what has happened, down to the T. You know, children might not be able to process it all, but you have to let them know that, hey, daddy is not the issue. It's mommy who is sitting there teaching them what to say, coaching them what to do. They need to become aware of what the situation is so that they can also make a choice to either support their daddy or support their mommy. I'm very sure that mommy's got them brainwashed anyways because, hey, she's a natural-born manipulator. She is a narcissist. She's a horrible, foul fucking creature. You're absolutely right that the courts and police stations are run by feminazis. I noticed it, too. When I was accused of my accusations, they did everything possible to try to con me or set me up into a certain role. They, were, they just wanted to put me into that role of abuser. They just, they, they, they'd try everything possible. They even come up to your face and say, okay, for example, when, when Kim said that to the police, she, okay, Kim, Kim walks into the police station, crying her ass off, <laughs> he raped me. The police didn't buy it. And despite them not buying her story, they still tried to call me a rapist for six months. They still tried to use that false story against me for six months. And I actually at one point said, okay, you know what? If you have any balls whatsoever, Mr. Police Officer, go ahead and make that charge official. Go ahead and call me an official rapist. That way I can sue you, sue my ex for slander, sue my ex for false allegations, and I will win. They backed off. Have you noticed how you've not actually been officially accused of child molestation? How it's just sticking around an accusation? Because that's the best way women can manipulate the courts. They don't actually have to make a, a, an actual charge, because then, it, then it's legal, then it's binding, you know. Then you can actually count the charge. But what they do is they, they drop false hints. I'm sure you're aware of that, because you're actually in the same situation as I am. But I understand where you're coming from, brother. I know what you're going through. And you have my respect for that. And I understand as a brother, you know, you deserve so much better than this shit. You deserve your kids back. You deserve to have a good, happy home. This woman will one day spend eternity in purgatory. Don't worry about that. I'm aware you have all the evidence in the world. But I know that the courts are going to do everything to dis disprove your evidence or dismiss your evidence. They don't care about men at all. They just don't care. They would rather give the children off to a psychopathic, delusional, motherfucking whore of a woman than give them to a decent father who deserves them and would educate them properly and raise them as good, decent children. I don't know what the world is coming to by doing that.
But I know that the men out there that are going through the same situation do not deserve one ounce of it. And you have my full respect for it. In my case, I had to sit there in front of an attorney general that's all deluded motherfucker. He must have been like 89 years old. And he's sitting there in the courtroom and he's saying to me, you know, just, oh, you had problems in the first month of your relationship. Your relationship was doomed from the first month. And I'm like, that's nowhere near accurate or true, and I can prove that, yet you have the nerve to stand there and quote my ex as if you are a motherfucking parrot. Just because my ex says one thing does not make it legally binding and, and written in gold. But yet that's how they act. They act like everything that comes out of a female's mouth is true, accurate, and down to the T, perfection. And that the man has to make up any kind of excuse to get out of the female's allegation. It's completely biased, sickening, and really gross. I had to sit there and argue like on a Jerry Springer show argue with a judge who decided to tell me that my relationship had problems in the first month when I damn well know that it was the seventh month. And I made that very clear. It is ridiculous how none of these false allegations, you know, become real, legit charges so that you can go out and prosecute them based on these false allegations. They're all just false allegations. There's no fucking single goddamn legal, legit charge. I had that same thing with my ex. She accused me for almost three years of being a rapist, but never had an official charge made against me. Because that would mean that I could actually go and sue her for slander, sue her for false allegations, so they never took it that far. That's the diabolicalness of this family court, and as well as just the police in general. They know what to make an official charge, what not to make an official charge, and they will use everything against you, despite the fact that they have no evidence, nothing to back them up, and it's just one story of a female. And they even say to you, you know, uh, it's just uh, your word against her word. It's not even true. It's her word, and you have to defend your ass. It's not yours versus hers. That would be great. That would be 50-50. But that's not how it is, is it, brother? Anyways, Universal Studios 13, you have all my respect. I love you, brother. And I don't, I don't want you to go through this. I don't think anybody in the world wants you to go through this. Hang in there. We know that this woman is completely insane. We want you to have your kids back. We care about you. This is War Does Fire. See you all later. Have a good day. Bye.